Guys, what if I told you that there is one specific fractal that has been able to pinpoint the exact bottom for Bitcoin, not only one, two, but three times previously in Bitcoin's history. Today, I'm going to show you exactly what this signal is telling us right now, because yes, it is about to flash. I will explain it in this video. I'm also going to show you some uh, recent macroeconomic news that is uh, pretty surprising, but it's very, very important indeed. And it also shows us a little bit about the current environment we are in. So welcome back, everybody. My name is Chris, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you are new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now and let's get straight into it so first you can see that the triangle we we're talking about in yesterday's video it has begun to break down here we did see a breakdown and we went down by what is that 2.2 percent here uh, on the breakdown here and now we are struggling with getting above the orange line here and in general guys my strategy is still the same as i've been saying for the last couple of uh, weeks now um this is the range I think we are going to be trading in for a good little while now. So yes, be prepared for some sideways action for Bitcoin. Now, if you look at this uh, triangle formation, you can also see that, yes, the resistance is still the same, but you could also have a, another trend line looking uh, like something like this, right? So on the bodies of the candles, this wick right here, or these wicks, um, so yes, Know that this trend line also exists, but this was the initial trend line which we have now begun to break down from. So pay attention to that, guys. This is important. Now, one thing I want to show you. We know that the uh, traditional markets are influencing the Bitcoin price very, very severely. And you can see that we are right now right below the resistance here on the traditional markets. But I want to show you this chart. So this is... Actually, let me just show you this again. So here's the traditional markets on the four hourly time frame. If we go to the weekly time frame, I want to show you a specific moving average. The moving average I want to show you is the 200 week moving average here. So this is very, very significant. And I will show you why. So the 200 week moving average here on the traditional markets, you can see we are approaching it right now. And what has happened previously when we have been approaching this level? Well, during the COVID crash, we found support of, of this level, but then you had a complete meltdown. Of course, the whole world melted. So we went down below it. And then immediately in a couple of weeks later, we were above it again. So this is a black swan event as I have already and been discussing previously many times. I don't consider this a very technical pattern because this was just a complete meltdown in the entire financial market. But look at this. Previously, we found support of this level. We found support, kind of support of this level. We didn't reach all the way down, but this was definitely a level that held up the S&P 500 here. And we have another time right here as well. Went slightly below it, but we found support in this general area. And also here in 2008, actually, we found support. So, okay, we know that the traditional markets tend to find support at the 200-week moving average, the orange line here. Okay, so let's put this into perspective. What has happened with the Bitcoin price during these periods of time? Well, let's start from the, uh, well, we cannot go to the one in 2008 because Bitcoin was not invented then. Uh, but what we can do is we can look at the Bitcoin price uh, at the um, ones that occurred later than that. Okay, so you have this one down here. This was in 2011. So this is where we found the bottom in the S&P 500. We touched the uh, 200 week moving average. And you can see that from this point, if we zoom in here, you can see that this was the point in which we touched the 200 week moving average on the S&P 500. Bitcoin went down. We know that the correlation is there. And then we started to go up in the S&P 500 and we had a crazy rally for Bitcoin. So this was the bottom, not only for the S&P 500, but also for Bitcoin. So let's continue. This is the time where we almost went down and hit this level. Didn't go all the way down here, but this was also a kind of level for Bitcoin where we eventually took off hard to the upside. This one, we had a little touch here. This was the bottom also for Bitcoin, as you can see above here. We went up from this level. This was the absolute bottom for Bitcoin. And then, of course, you had the COVID crash. Boom, went down below this level. Bitcoin had a free fall here as well. But from this point, we know what Bitcoin did after that. And look at this. We now are approaching this level. We're not quite there yet, but we are about to approach it. We're about to maybe hit it if S&P 500 continues to go down. 
Now the question is, is this time different or are we going to see the same thing as we've been seeing previously, a big rally from this level? Sure, we could, uh, just like we've seen, we could touch this like this and then go up or we could uh, touch it, we could break down slightly below it, go sideways and then take off. This is usually what you've been seeing previously, but is this time different? Let me know down in the comment section. And of course, if you want to trade this volatility, make sure to sign up for OKX. You're able to claim up to $10,000 over there, $4,500 over on Bybit and $4,500 over on Femex. So make sure to take advantage of these offers down in the description. Okay, one more thing I want to show you though, is that the China state banks are ordered to buy stocks to contain selling. So the Chinese stock market, just like the complete world, is having some stressful selling coming in here. So the Chinese state banks are ordered to actually uh, push up the, the stock price in the Chinese market, which uh, seems pretty weird, but yes, this is apparently what they have been ordered. So maybe we're gonna have a little bit of a relief at least, on the back of them doing this well let me know down in the comment section what do you think do you think that the stock markets are going to have a little bit of a relief do you think that just like i believe that we are going to go sideways for quite some time here for the next couple of well let's call it two three weeks at least let me know down in the comment section if you think that that might be the case guys that's what i got for you thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one